Hi, this is Julian from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Team. As we know, Terraform by Hashcorp is a powerful infrastructure as code tool that allows you to create, update, and control the versioning of your cloud's infrastructure. With Terraform, you can generate and execute cloud resource plans, reprovision infrastructure based on the configuration changes, and realize the hybrid clouds and multi-cloud deployment. For these reasons, your business may consider using the Terraform orchestration to manage Alibaba cloud infrastructure. In this demo, I will show you a pretty much simple steps about how to use Terraform to play around RDS database on Alibaba Cloud. At the very beginning, go to the registry of Terraform websites. You will be able to search the module here, input to AliCloud RDS, and you will find the official Terraform Alibaba Cloud RDS module here. Check with the source code on the GitHub and git clone it to the local computer. Then I will use my IDE, the VS code, to inspect and edit the Terraform module script files. So in the VS Code IDE, I'm going to navigate to the Git cloned project that I just downloaded of the RDS MySQL Terraform module. Here you can see some examples here. So navigate to the MySQL part. In the main script, you can see all the cloud resources that we will provision in this demo. That is a RDS MySQL database instance. And here you can specify the region that you will pull up the RDS MySQL database instance and all the other configurations such as the backup and the instance type and also the instance name. Then let's modify to another name of the RDS MySQL database instance. And also the database and the database account that I will, I will try to create during the provisioning. So here, let's go to the website of Alibaba Cloud. We can see the region code here in the global environment. And let's see that we are trying to pull up the database instance in Jakarta region. So let's modify the region parameter here to the AP Southeast 5. And then that's all for the uh, Terraform module script. And I'm trying to uh, execute and check with the parameter. Uh, before that, we must export the, your Alibaba account access key and the security key to the environment. So you need to export the parameter of Alibaba account access key and security key. You can check with uh, these uh, values from your account information on your Alibaba account websites. And then you can execute the Terraform init to initialize the Terraform infrastructure to your local computer. That will download the necessary module and the fundamental modules to your environment. And at the very beginning, you will see that in the RDS console, there is no RDS instance in your um, Jakarta region. So first, let's execute the Terraform validate to validate your module to see whether the 
dependency or all the stuff are, are looking good. And then execute the Terraform plan. That will generate all the cloud resources that will be created beforehand. After the plan, let's execute the Terraform apply. Within this step, the cloud resources will be actually created in the real cloud platform. So you will see the log here about all the steps. As you can see that it will it first creates the security group. Then it is going to create the database instance actually. It will take some time for the cloud platform to provision your cloud resources that required in your Terraform module. Let's go to the RDS web console and refresh the page. You will see that the your RDS MySQL database instance has already been there in the Jakarta region. Then the database has been created successfully and it will set up your uh, database and the database accounts as described in your uh, Terraform module script. Here, the database are here. You created two databases in, in the script and enter the account Okay, now the database are all set up successfully. So let's try to log on to this database using our account. Here is the account username and the password. So let's use this uh, uh, database account to log on while the DMS to our RDS MySQL database. Okay, there is no table here. So from now on, you can work on your database. So let's back to the uh, Terraform script. 
And if you want to release the RDS MySQL database instance, you can try to using the Terraform destroy command. It will try to destroy all the cloud resources that you provision at the right beginning. So after for a while, all the resources has been deleted successfully. And let's go back to the web console and you will see the incident disappear. So it is very convenient, right? Thanks for watching. See you next time.